blatheria, motherfuckers. How are you? I'm John Caparulo. And I'm Brian Shenanigan. And Lando's on the floor. Uh-huh. How are you guys doing? Good to talk to everybody. Good to see everybody. Thanks for coming back. Uh, and we're here. Yeah, we're here, yeah. man. Cat, you coming in hot? Just I'm coming in. It, yeah, the audience M- mean, MFs right off the top. Might as well, huh? man. Might as well. There's no reason to build up to it. Nope. Uh, no, yeah. Well, that's, I, 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 yeah, I had a. Uh, let's start with I, the recap because well, we got to know what, what happened this last week. Cat, well, we had shows I, I, at a casino. I, yeah, I was. Uh, I was in uh, Connecticut uh, over the weekend, and uh, coming back was uh, travels a bitch because. Uh, I, yeah, I knew they were gonna fuck it up. Like I only had like a forty minute layover from because I had to go from Hartford to Chicago, and then I had like a forty minute layover, and then I was gonna, and it was one of those things too where it was like I knew my Chicago connection. I got upgraded. Mm-hmm. I got upgraded to my to my favorite seat, back row of first class in the window. I was like, oh, I'm gold. Just get me to that plane. And I I I knew something was gonna fuck up. And so I, uh, you know, I get to, my flight was at fucking 519 a.m. Leaving Hartford. Ugh. So, I mean, I'm, it's so, you know, I woke up yesterday from, the, like, it's yeah. like I'd been up for a while at that point. I did two shows the night before. I, you know, get back to the room, you know, eat, pack, you know, play my games. <laughs> and uh, and then I, 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 like, I get, the, you know, I get there on time. I'm good. But I'm like, I know, I know something's gonna fuck up. It and bones. they they even make that announcement, you know, like, you know, where they're like, you know, eh, your carry on needs to blah blah blah, you you know, one personal item, whatever. And then, it, you know, when it gets, there's always that countdown on the board where it says boarding in two minutes, boarding in one minute, and then when it goes to boarding shortly, you're fucked. Ooh. Like you're fucked because there's no reason why they should put that in. boarding shortly yep. is so vague. Yep. And it, and the whole thing was like initially, and this has happened to me before. Initially, it's because they said, "Oh, we're just we're waiting on one of our flight attendants to come." Like we have a fucking flight attendant who's late for work, and I've had I've had this happen multiple times before, and it's like it fucking drives me nuts that like you know like they you know they have to have this this flight attendant come in. You look around the airport, and you've got. 50 other fucking, it, like, flight Sitting. crews ready to go. So mm-hmm. why can't we take one of the ones from the other she can crew? Get on that she one. can get on this plane, or he. They. And, they and, 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 <laughs> and, and they can get on our flight, and we could roll. But no, I mean, and what? And so we waited like a half hour or so till they finally realized, oh, so we just found out that she caught off work sick. And it's like, I, you know, in any other line of work, like if if uh like if a teacher calls off work, you get a substitute. Uh-huh. If if somebody who works at fucking McDonald's calls off, you have somebody else to fucking flip fucking fries and burgers. Yeah, where's the standby? Whatever. Where's the call? It's really it's it's that simple. But if somebody calls off sick for a fucking for a, for a plane, it's like every like now a couple hundred people's schedule has to get fucked. The whole fucking transit system has to get fucked because oh where could we possibly find somebody else and they literally they the other they find us another flight attendant like she was in like fucking delaware or some shit so we had to wait for her to get there and it was like i mean the 519 <laughs> flight left at eight. Oh, and i'm like it, it was oh, it no. was just it was the fucking worst so then i had to do that i had to go to chicago stay there for fucking three hours Got home last. I got home like I got to my house at like six p.m. So mm. it it was I yeah it wasn't happy. That's, so that's I'm a little deep in your morning. I'm a little dad uh, yeah grizzled right now. I'm just <laughs> a little worn from travel. So uh, so yeah. So fuck Earth is what I'm saying. Yes. How are you? That's good, Cap. Good. Oh, is it just you're just good? That's it. Oh well, you know, I, I, you know, gutters wish, and strikes. Wish I could know. be Brian today. What the fuck? <laughs> I, I, I can't. What am I supposed to top that? I can't. Well, I, don't, I don't know. I mean, do you, do you, do you have any other problems from? Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah, just yeah, other people my, infringing on your fucking I'm time. A, my big, my my big problem is my com- my computer shutting down when I'm trying to download something. No, yeah, that sucks. <laughs> that, that does suck. I'm, I'm very sorry. I'm saying yes, yeah. but I can't. I at least can't. you're at home. So yes, sorry, I had to sit at home <laughs> on my ass all weekend and 
Well, then see, like, damn, I gotta sit on my ass longer. See, my thing, my, my upgrade got fucked up too because my my now my four F turned. I still got upgraded, which was cool because I would have fucking yeah, uh-huh, I might have uh-huh, burned uh-huh, down uh-huh, the fucking uh-huh. building. But I mean, it's like I it, it, if I lost my upgrade, there might have they might have had it. It might I'd have been on the news, uh-huh, and uh, uh-huh. so I I I like I I but see, my upgrade is like. I get one A, and oh, I fucking hate the, the first the row. Worst. I hate the first because there's no fucking seat underneath. Because uh-huh. so, I need my shit. I need my backpack there, and it's like, I, you know, we all know I could tuck it under my leg because I've done it plenty of times when there's been lazy flight attendants and they don't check. I just tuck it right under my leg. It stays there. It do. You, I mean, how many planes have you been on? It somebody's backpacks just flying around, hit people in the fucking beak. No, no it does. No. It doesn't happen. No. So why are we guarding against all these eventualities that have never fucking happened in the first place? So, but when you're in the first row, you don't have a seat under you, so you have to fucking, you have to put it up. And then I got to cross over the fucking sleeping old dude to get my shit Uh after the thing fucking takes off. And I'm mad. And he's mad, you know, because I walked, I brushed by him and maybe I had a boner. Yeah, yeah, but I was asleep too, sir. Hey, you know, it's, it's, I just woke up too. Okay? Fuck off, all right? I've had a long day and I'll smack you. And uh, it just, it, things happen. Things happen. But uh, anyway, uh, I got his number and we're going to talk later. But it, it's, it's, it, it was just one of those fucking trips that I really, it just, that this, uh, that the- yeah. Really. It's the other end of the road, you know. It's it, just, it, it, you it gotta really... get to and from the places you go, and you have good shows, and it, you it, come it, back, yeah, and you're just like, yeah. fuck. Yeah, it's just those times. I, yeah, I'm like, man, I, I really, uh, I wish I'd, have, I wish I would have taken college more seriously. So, <laughs> <laughs> here we are. Yeah. So, uh, I wish I made more money to fly private. I you wish know? I, I wish I, instead of being a comedian, I wish I'd have just been a person. That would have been great. Uh-huh. <laughs> just, I could just be fine. Just, 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 just sit yeah. in the back. Just be a fucking citizen, John. Stop doing this shit. Just flying uh, southwest, sitting wherever, like, an, like one of the animals. Sick of this shit. Yeah. So yeah, I, I, I just, so I'm. I'm home. Well, I'm not. I'm not home. I'm at your house now. But yeah. it, it, it's you know. You're in. You're in your home city. I'm back in you're fucking in your Vegas right now. Yes, so you're not yeah, doing the away game. You're in a home game right yeah, now. Yeah. So we'll Something take like it. That. We'll take it. Yeah. But other than that, the shows were good. And if we're in the, at the old Mohegan Suns at the casino. Yeah, it was cool there. I mean, it was uh, the the um, the shows were good. You know, like it's it's weird. Like it's so weird for me. Like you know, because I feel like I I finally like kind of sort of gotten back to like where I was prior to March of 2020 Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or even really prior to May of 2018 when I when I started my residency or whatever but I I, you know I feel like I'm gradually getting you know close to a hundred percent again as far as back to full roadie no just back to being as far as an artist and a comedian and being back to where I you know I felt like I had worked my way to you know the the twenty plus years prior to that so it's, well uh, and you're not I feel like you're you kind of shook off the stagnant you know like you're right. doing new Wait, stuff every well, week yeah that's, that's, that's just, too yeah, that's that's just, been uh that, that, that's a that that's I mean as far as like you know doing shows and 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 comedy like that's what really keeps me um happy and interested it is always like you know being able to feel like I'm creating new stuff and writing and it it I just I feel like such a piece of shit when I I feel like I'm just oh geez, just I'm, going just, through the motions. I'm just running this again yeah. man like I I just I don't like being that guy I never wanted to be that guy that's and I mean that's a job it's, you know? well, yeah it's just it's like why it, it's just it well and it, plus it starts to make you think like man like I you, you lost you lost a step or you like you're not you know you're not as good at this as what you were before if you can only just basically yeah, I, I feel like a hack doing my own shit you know yeah. where it's like you're just yeah. you're just you know you just feel like you know well i'm just now i'm into recitation you know it's like yeah. all right here we go just, you're, you're just running a, through this bit you're again doing a monologue. And, yeah and I mean, I, that's this, literally it i'm not I, doing a bit anymore i'm doing a monologue it's right literally, this it, is my it's hour just, monologue just, i do every night that's what makes you know comedy fun and interesting is you know, evolving and doing new stuff, and well, of course you're gonna have stuff that. And you in know, the end, you, you gotta have fun. Be able to go back. You gotta yeah, enjoy gotta keep what you're doing. I, 
Yeah, man, if I can't you be up there just... want to put a bullet in your head every time, or every time you say a joke and be like, fuck, I gotta do this one again. Yeah, right, you start into you're like, you know, why'd I even, yeah, why'd it's I even like, make oh, this turn? That did exactly what I thought it would do, why did right. I do it? And you it, know, it, like it, it just never does as well, I mean, because the thing is, for me, it's like, it's always like, those moments when I first write a bit, when I'm first doing it, like, it seems like, I mean, that's usually when it's at its best, because it's like, you know, not only is the crowd really... You know, entertained by I'm entertained by the yeah. way it's affected them. So it's, re- could you drink a little fucking louder? <laughs> they know while I'm talking. I mean, Jesus Christ! I, I mean, I can noise. I can noise him. Imagine, can, imagine this while you're doing comedy. I can, it, I can just, date the dog. I'm glad people in, in, in comedy comedy houses don't lap. It's just. <laughs> I don't know. I've, I've seen a, I've seen a chick or two in my day drink like that. Some so. good water, huh? All right, fantastic. But, uh, but yeah, it's it, it's uh, it, it, it comedy's so much better when you know you feel like you're uh, you're, you're still creating and you're still your being, juices you're, are flowing yeah. and and you're like and it's you're just, finding the punchlines yourself and that's you know it's that's yeah. After a while, it's like yeah, this is funny to me. It's got to be funny to them. But if right, it's not and that's what's, you, that's what's fun about it. Yeah, you I, know. yeah. I, I, I just don't. I never wanted to. I, you know, I've been that way. I think since even before I got into comedy, like when I first realized I had sort of a talent for comedy, it was like when I started. Yeah, you know, there were times where I'd like, you know, like I'd like hang out with my friends or something like that, and like I, you know, I'd be in a bad mood or something, like or whatever, and you just you don't say anything, you don't come up with anything funny, and then you start to go, oh shit, am I losing that? fuck, I don't have, maybe that, like, you just feel like that, you know, it's like an hourglass, you know, and it's just eventually gonna run out on you, and like, you know, it, it, I just, I would, I'd hate to ever lose that, because that's the, you know, it's the one thing that makes, you know, the, the kick in the balls that life can be, it's, yeah, it's the one thing that makes it tolerable, yeah. you know, for me is being able to, uh, you just know, the, make, some, the make some funny out of it. Yeah, the yeah. create and just to be able to creation, and to watch something work, or even not work, you know, like even in that initial stuff, it's like, well, that didn't work, but at least you know, like I'm out, I'm out here that, trying, I'm out here doing those. stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but it's still, it's still just trying. You know, yeah. I still got to try it. Right, and it, it really does. It does. It, it's just, yeah, they're they're the whole. Well, it, it, yeah, they, taking that risk too is like it's a big part of comedy. Is just you know being able to go, all right, you know what, this might suck, but. If, if I don't try it, I'm not going to know. And yeah. that's how, yeah, that's how it all, you're not going to find anything good th- that way if no. you don't try that either. So but if I don't get it out of my head or off of these notes, Might as well, try yeah, it. roll the fucking dice, yeah. man. Yeah. What's, all right, I lost a couple minutes. Run it back. You know, I guess like there's just, just there's a, run it, do it again. There's yeah. always more time. There's always another thing. But man, sometimes if it's bad enough, you remember that time for a long time. Well, like, yeah, we yeah. we always remember those, don't we? Yeah, you remember you remember the bad bads, but hell man, yeah, you, you only yeah. get a fleeting image of those goods. It's the same as poker. It's like you, yeah, you, you, you would say yeah. You, you, you never you, remember you, the you, goods. You, you always remember. Oh you, man, you, you had you, four aces you, one time. You, you, straight flush, this guy. You had no business what, being what's, in there. What's, uh, what's he saying? Rounders, like yeah, he, he can he can recount with with. With with striking accuracy, mm-hmm. all of the tough beats of his, like, because yeah. it's like, yeah, you remember your tough beat, yeah, you remember, like, dude, I had, <laughs> had pocket aces, I swapped, like, you know, whatever, you know, and it's like, you remember that because it's so, like, it, it just, it sticks with you, but, you know, you kind of go, you know, when you're a professional at whatever, you kind of go in expecting to win, yeah generally, so it's like, you know, when, when, it, when things go well, well, that's what you're supposed to have. Yes, you, know, yes. you know, like that's, that's, that's what, what, what people come say. Oh, you're so funny. That was it's the like, goal yeah. I had in mind that's was for I... this to work. But you know, it's like when it doesn't, boy, that yeah, that uh-huh. old, uh, that uh-huh. that that burns a hole in your soul, and you remember that shit. Especially when they go up to the guy next to you and go, "You were so great," and then they go. <laughs> you know, going, you know, like, I'm like yeah, nah, yeah. Nah, nah, nah. Do you want me to take your picture? All right, yes, I got you. That's exactly yeah, that's fine. get in there with him. That's get in fine. there. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> but still, we're moving on, Cap. That's why. It's, but I mean, that's that's why we're doing this podcast. That's why we're doing all this stuff. We're trying to get these, you know, keep the juices flowing, make some content, be interesting, and just you know, well, and that brings us to what we're doing here at the Blatheria. We we talking, we finding stories online. We jibbering about them. We blathering about them, if you will. 
I'm just trying to make you uncomfortable. You look like you're gonna say something like two or yeah, three but, times. Yeah, that's this is why we. I, yeah, I, I sometimes I forget why we do this. I just I basically just do it because I told you I would. Oh I'm my god, just, I'm just doing it. Oh my right. god, here we are. <laughs> oh. oh, that's getting clipped. Oh my god, you guys. We will start with German ice cream parlor offers cricket flavored scoops. Let me put this on the screen for you guys here so you can see it. Yes, yeah, so, uh, man, I don't. I... <laughs> it, it, okay, I don't... so it's a, uh, All right. So this guy, like, it, basically, they came up with a flavor of ice cream that isn't. I don't think the flavor is tastes like a cricket. It's just they call it cricket and then put fucking crickets on it, or dried up dead. I mean they're dead crickets, but <laughs> I mean I don't. <laughs> if they weren't, they probably wouldn't. They probably wouldn't make it over the counter. But uh, I, you know, I, I'm just thinking. Okay, if this is the type of thing I think it would. It. I don't know that that my wife would. You know, I don't know if she would order cricket cream, but. <laughs> She, she's definitely one that like she likes an adventure in her culinary experience. Like she wants oh, to so go sh- try something new. Try some not. I don't think she'd want to eat bugs, but I. You know, I don't know if it. I don't know if it take much to sway her though. So I don't know. I mean, but I mean, she likes to try something new and different all the time. And it's like you know, to me, it's like okay, if we're going out for ice cream, it's like okay. It, it, all right, I'm gonna have an ice cream cone. Yeah. I'm, I'm having one ice yeah. cream cone now. Do I want crickets or, or rocky chocolate? Road. You know, <laughs> I mean, because you know, here's the thing it's mm. like they, you know, I, mean, I can understand why, like, all right, you know, you don't have much to go on if you're wanting to do something new and innovative in ice cream. They pretty much figured it out oh, yeah. a while ago. Yeah. I mean, it's like you got vanilla, you got chocolate. And you got variations of both. It's like, it's really, you know, sometimes strawberry, mint chocolate chips, good as fuck. But it's like, after that, eh. Uh-huh. I mean, everything it's else just, is just, just some fucking concoction. It's just all mixing. All right, yeah. It's also, it, it, it's it, Oreos it, it's, mixed with something. It's peanut right, butter like, mixed with something. Like, you go to Cold Stone or whatever, and it's like, I, I never understand, like, you know, even if I go to Cold Stone where you can get all those different toppings and stuff like that, it's like... I, yeah, I'm, you you can like okay yeah I could take my ice cream and put fucking gummy bears in it but then now I'm just ruining two things yeah because it's like I'm gummy just, bears I'm are just good breaking my teeth ice cream is good gummy bears. they ain't they they don't hang out together no. okay no, like not one of them is not invited to my mouth right now <laughs> but somehow they're both there they both they both ran into each other and it's like they it's it's a collision in my mouth that does not welcome so I don't think. They go together, and it's the same. Well, it's not the same thing here because I don't know when no, crickets are ever invited. They put cricket. It's cricket powder. They put cricket powder in the ice cream. So they grind up crickets. Yeah, that's fucking gross, dude. I, yeah. I, maybe I didn't catch that part of the other no, yeah, reading. It's, it's, it was, it was I, 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 I thought goodness. he was basically like he came up with a concoction because there was some vanilla extract in there, yeah, right? No, it's it's cricket flour. Is the way it is. It's ground up cricket. It, everything is either vanilla or chocolate base. Like I, I, I worked at this ice cream store for a year with my brother. Shout out Brewster's ice cream. Oh, that's right. But yeah. uh, but everything is the same vanilla or chocolate base. That's it. And then you're just jamming shit in it. Right. So it's just vanilla with a cricket base, and honey, and it's like, I, I mean, I, I can't tell you what cricket tastes like, nor can I tell you what dry cricket tastes like. like and I've eaten cricket, I, and I can't I, tell you what it tastes like other than it was crunchy. Like I, I don't, like what, what kind of a like. I don't know what kind of a third world upbringing would you need to go. Oh, this takes me back. Like, it's, it's, really, it's, it's, like, I mean, if you're Asian, I mean, Asians eat so much bugs, man. So much right, bugs. Right, right, right. And, and yeah, that's you know, and, that's yeah, their like, main but, protein. So does my daughter's bearded dragon. It eats a lot <laughs> yeah. of fucking bugs too. That's why so, I you picked know, this story. We all love that cricket. The life. bearded dragon, Rexy would love uh-huh. this fucking ice yeah. cream, um, and she would let us know too. And it, it's so cute. She goes. When she wants to eat, yeah. but it, it, it's fucking. It's, Cause you it's, hand feed them. They don't. That, they don't even have to hunt I, no more. I don't even want to reach in there, yeah. like you know, and and like it's there was they before they left a few weeks ago went to Florida. They had a fucking 
They left me with a fucking hive of crickets in there, mm-hmm. and half of them committed suicide in the water dish, and I had to go fucking dump them <laughs> over the wall out back. <laughs> so, so I'm sure the kids behind us probably had... They're like, cut your graveyard. <laughs> I, I, I threw them in the street. But what I'm saying is, is it's still like, I, yeah, I just, I can't imagine who would be, you know, who would want to ruin their ice cream treat with fucking bugs. Like, there's just, they, that's the furthest, like, you know, no, no, who, who wants, who wants M&M's? <laughs> who, who wants, who wants fucking Oreo cookies? No, no. Do you have any fucking crickets? You have any crickets or toenails or boogers you could put in my fucking ice cream? No. Well, get, if you go to keep Japan, the fuck though, out of my ice cream. Japan cap, like the, you can have they have weird ass shit in their ice cream. They have like cobra in ice cream, like actual like it's cobra flavored ice cream. I was like, I seen that shit on the travel shows and stuff, man. It's weird ass shit that they put in there. Had they not tried vanilla? Because <laughs> vanilla's fucking good. Vanilla gets a bad rap. Hey, what all right? I'm like you, my, okay, again, me, back, it's still my wife vanilla. will fucking shit all over me for having <laughs> vanilla. Because that's what I'll guarantee. Oh. I go to I can go to the most exotic fucking ice cream parlor on earth, and I'm gonna get vanilla. All right, yeah, yeah. I, I might roll the dice and get a French vanilla. Maybe I worked I'll get some magic cream. shell, but I, I worked mean... at the ice cream store. It was my job to taste the ice cream, my favorite ice cream vanilla, especially a fresh vanilla right out of the machine. Yeah, vanilla's the shit. Oh, I fucking vanilla is oh, good, man. Fresh I, out that's the what it's like. It, vanilla gets a bad rap because it's white, and I think a lot of people think like it's like ice milk or some shit, and it's not. Uh-huh. It's fucking so. It's phenomenal. Like especially I, when it's made right. Oh, uh-huh. I love me some dude. I. You ever get Tillamook? Mm-hmm. That's the shit. That is the shit. Fucking made with egg whites? Dude. I mean, we, like, because my daughter, Madden, loves uh, uh, vanilla bean, and I like old-fashioned vanilla, too. <laughs> good shit, but I, yeah, man. See, I was, and actually, that's why I got to make sure I get out of here in time so I can get uh, go to uh, a grocery store, because I promised Madden I'd get, last week I hooked her up with some, uh, uh, Regular Klondike bars are bullshit. Like they're they're it's like cheap uh-huh. vanilla. It's not good. They make they make some flavored Klondike bars now, like with different kinds of ice cream. And the fucking the mint one, dude. It's real talk. Have you I had mean, magnums? It's, it's, it's like I'm, I'm like what? Have you had a magnum? Magnum? Yeah. Wait, I, magnum ice cream bars. I don't think so. Wait, oh, I, I think I've seen those. Have, have a magnum. magnum. You will thank me. Get the caramel. Yeah. Oh, it's basically like a layer of chocolate, a layer of caramel, a layer of chocolate, then the ice cream, and okay. the ice cream is bomb. It really? Is. Oh, really? It's like good ice cream? I swear like, I swear by a magnum. Yeah? Like, oh, they sell the little mini ones in four packs, too. You get a little mini one, too. Like, oh. Yeah. That's, Wait, I, I, I've only been recently turned on to it, and like I said, I've been in the game. I know good, I know good I, cream. You look, I, tr- I, I trust <laughs> you on this. Because of this, 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 this area yeah, here, you trust I, I, this but, middle but part I, of yeah, me? Yeah, yeah <laughs> but I, I'm a, I, but I, you know. <laughs> my instincts. <laughs> See, because my 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 daughter was a was a was a vanilla connoisseur with me for a while, but then she it's it's hard. She's kind of like me, where it's like it's hard to talk her into anything new, because it's like why? Like if I found something I like, why why am I gonna yeah. try this new thing and fuck up my meal? Especially when my your brain dessert, wants that or, flavor, right? It's like I'm good with this one, so what? Yeah, why do I need to roll the dice? But when you know when she finally did try some some mint chocolate chip or whatever, like at one of her friend's house, and it was like. So now she likes, yeah. So she likes mint ice, and it's. I can't. It's, I, so I, can't, so I, I was like, like I was in the I was in the frozen aisle getting her uh, Italian ices that I get her all the time, and like we, uh, I was like, oh man, mint Klondike. I'm like, what the fuck? And I was like, not, uh, yeah, and and I was pleasantly uh, uh, not surprised that I was correct. So yeah, <laughs> good shit. So I gotta get more of those on my way home. But uh, but yeah. not but not crickets. We're not. not I'm the not. No, no, I they mean, get the crickets. And the doobie ro- or the doobie roaches on as, the, as yeah. a one off or whatever. The, it's it's a gimmick, and yes, I, it got yeah, him in the paper. I mean, if you want to get people in stuff. the store or whatever, I mean, obviously you got you got national or international press over it. I mean, we're yeah. talking about it, nope. and uh, I mean, it did its job there. But, but you I mean, can't tell me it's. I mean, with even the presentation there. Look, like, I mean, it said it said half eaten. <laughs> I know. Like, that looks like gonna... it looks like it was melting on the sidewalk, yes. and, and then a cricket jumped on it. it was like, like that's did, fucking. Did you that's know he was taking really a picture like, of wait, that? You need like... to get a rounder scoop. 
Yeah. <laughs> Did you looked, not know that he was filming you? Pitiful. Like, yeah, I mean, it's like you couldn't get a, a better fucking scoop. Right. Of that. Like, it's I'm, just like a, you know. But then again, it's like I, I don't know. It is I don't know if German. there is a scoop that it's looks efficient. good with a fucking bug on uh, it. So yeah, I, that I, looks I, like I, uh, hey bro, I need a new one that's got a bug on it. <laughs> Jesus Christ, <laughs> this, is, this one's got a bug on yeah. it. Yeah, it's supposed to. Yeah, uh, Jesus. Yes. Cap. Oh. Nasty. Uh, uh, uh. So that brings us, Cap, to this next story, which is the Mexican president uh, shares a photo of a mythical woodland creature elf. Now, not only did he share a photo of this, but he had a full-on press conference about how this elf is real and that, you know, that he, he wants to, like, preserve the elf and that he claims that there's many other pictures of the elf and that it comes to his home all the time. And stuff, <laughs> but uh, I, I mean that's that's the elf cap. Ah, you, fuck see? It, you know, ours ours believe in God. <laughs> I mean, it's, <laughs> what the fuck are you gonna do? I mean, it, it, it looks like a damn Jawa to me. All right, it does. It looks. A, you're right. You're God right. It looks exactly like a Jawa because it's like it, all we got. We got okay. There's kind of an outline of. Is that a hood? Uh-huh. Is that okay? Yeah. Uh, but yeah. it really, dude, like that just looks yeah. that. I mean. Oh no! This That's just looks like two dots and some shit. It's a I, it's a Mexican Jawa cosplayer here. I mean, like, come on! Like, I don't understand. Fujini! <laughs> like, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's like they like they, they're like that's that's what it's based on. This mythical picture of the elf. Uh-huh. That's what it's supposed to look like. Is this little tiny elf thing they have and Jawa? Like. <laughs> <laughs> like I just I don't I mean he doesn't have advisors or anybody like that to cut him off that's... and go, dude, this is fucking stupid. No, right? That's what like, I'm saying. Like... I, you know, I mean it's comforting to know that not only it was you know, it isn't just America who has terrible presidents. It's uh obviously, yeah, you guys uh what, you guys have one that that makes it like at least take a good picture too. Like, what the fuck is that? Uh-huh. Like, it, it looks like nothing. Yeah. And it, I mean, it's like if if you if you maybe got <laughs> I don't know a better shot of it or whatever. But it's like, but there's I mean there's really there's I mean you could almost put that in in post production, right? No, you exactly. could just take a picture of shit and then put some glowing dots in there, like edit them in on your phone, and then it's like, oh look, I I yeah, like yeah, that's. And so this is a, I'm bringing up Mexico unexplained up here on the, I'm gonna throw it up on the site for you guys here, but like this is what it's supposed to look like. It's supposed to be like a fucking like a more of like a mythical creature, like apparently with no dong. Apparently, no. A, well, yeah, of course, because that would be offensive. Yeah, yeah. Right? they you know but they I mean, didn't need those back then. So. <laughs> but it's just it's like I said, they, it's a whole history of this thing. But no matter how you cut it, man, I, I look. I'm looking at all this history and all this stuff. I'm Jawa. <laughs> I, mean, I, just, I just feel like if that qualifies as a as a mythical creature, like you could just like I could just take a like a, okay, like I could take a picture of Lando's shit yeah. in the yard and just be like, look, a UFO. <laughs> you know, like I. I got look at the spaceship. It's like well, those are turds. Wait, but I got one for you. Look, look here. Look, I got here's a big and it's another picture of turds. Be like, hey, look, chupacabra. There he is. It's right there. It's right there. It's right there. It's right there. It's It's like clouds. It's like you all just these are shit. <laughs> it's like, but I, but I'm the president, so you'll look. Uh-huh. Just yeah. watch. Watch my fucking meltdown here on TV. I feel like we could just put Lando in a little hoodie thing and take a picture and be like, we got it here too. (laughs) Or or me. Yeah. (laughs) I I found an elf. No, you didn't find shit. No. You just, yeah, yeah, it's more shit. But it's just like, and the glowing eyes is what gets me, like, too, especially. It's like they got the night vision out to take a picture (laughs) of the glowing eyed elf. That's fucking With, stupid. Yes, but that is that is national news. And like I said, the man gave a legit, full-on, questions-asked press conference about it. Like, it's incredible. Jeez. It's incredible. Viva Mexico, I say. Man. <laughs> <laughs> and and he wasn't guy, kidding. I mean, no, no. he and wasn't that, joking. Wasn't and that like, guy's trying to change the rules so he can get basically voted in by, like, a, like, a Madrid, like nobody. Like, he can just stay in power kind of thing. It wasn't oh like a Phoenix Light situation where they were like joking. You know, where, uh, nope. He legit, like I said, he's he's put in legislation to protect the elf. Like he's doing all that kind of stuff that he has to protect this. Uh... Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. I feel like it's definitely a look at what I'm doing over here while I'm doing something over here thing, but uh, it's still, man, that's, that's what happens yeah, in the streets. Yeah, it's, it's I, I mean, I, 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 you'd think I'd expect more from the Mexican president, but I don't, so I guess, uh, what? whatever, man. What, what, it's just, it's, it's, do we just, you we know, just assume every other president the American is just president beyond third sucks, world? So he might as well, too. Uh-huh. All right, that's uh-huh. fine. Whatever. <laughs> Why would we anybody elect somebody irresponsible? Yeah. You have to elect like somebody who actually wants that job. I mean, right. that's really the underlying thing. We like, can relate to him. He's stupid <laughs> like us. So, okay, great. Well, Cap, that transition us from mythical creatures to regular creatures. And uh, in Malaysia, they opened a snakes, lizards, and desserts cafe. A reptile cafe where you can hold lizards and animals or they're loose in the store running around you while you're oh, trying to good. eat a dessert. <laughs> I, get to, I get to have ice cream in the well of souls. It's, that, fucking, it's, 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 it's prime opportunity for the cricket ice cream, I'm just saying. It, well, see, I was reading it. When I read the, the article about it, Like the guy was saying like his whole thing was you know, oh, everybody always like, it, it, you know, people only pay attention to the furry animals. Like the furry cats, dogs, and you, 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 I think he only mentioned cats and dogs. But, you know, cats, dogs, bunny, oh, rabbits. The pedible whatever. animals, they, you yeah, say? Yeah, basically the furry, <laughs> cute, cuddly animals. And yeah. it's like, oh, nobody ever wants to snuggle with a snake. Right. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> have you seen have, have you seen how snakes react to yeah. that? I mean, if snakes were cuddly, they would, I mean, people would like, but they're not cuddly. They're fucking slithery and fucking that sharp and poisonous, all right? They're not friendly. Yeah. Like, it's just like people say, oh, everybody always wants to drink water. Nobody ever wants to drink fire. Right! Because it, <laughs> it's not, it, the experience fucking sucks, okay? It's not, it, the, the outcome is terrible. Oh, my God. It, it, because, because, yeah, that's why, okay, yeah, there, there are some customs in in humankind that are there for a reason. Yeah. Because it, it didn't take people very long to go, oh, that's not fun. Like, you know, it's like, yeah. Oh, nobody ever wants to run headfirst into a brick wall. Right, because it sucks. It's because it's not, because it doesn't end well, okay? Yeah. It's the same thing as, yeah, I I would rather, I would rather pet a dog or a cat than a fucking alligator. And Duh. Any, any petting zoo you go to, it's goats, a sheep, a sort of whatnots, you right. know, but they, they ain't got no, come to our lizard enclosure and, and exhibit. Even you know, the petting like, zoo animals, it's like, yeah, okay, this is why most people don't keep these as pets, okay? Uh-huh. Because, I mean, they, yeah, they're gross, they chew everything. And there's shit everywhere. I don't know how goats have the same shit as rabbits, but they do. Like, it's, it's like, it's like, it's shrapnel. It's all fucking shrapnel <laughs> shit from them, but it's really... It's 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 uh, it's off putting. And it's numerous. <laughs> right. There's a lot it, of it. It, it is. <laughs> it, it it's all yeah. It's all uh, uh what are those uh, uh what do they call the musket balls or whatever they came out of like in like the the I think, I think musket ball sounds right. I think that's what musket they were ball called. Shit. But, um, <laughs> Mini ball ball bearings. The little ball bearing right. shit. But it's just yeah. It's like you know. I mean, I get look. It it's. Sure, I think a lot of people like, uh, you, you know, reptiles as pets and things like that. I mean, I think, I don't know. I mean, my daughter, obviously, like, we've we've gone through a succession of fucking lizards that, I, I mean, that, you know, we're, we now have a, a, a bearded dragon that's lasted more than a week, which that's good. Uh-huh. Rexy's still around. She seems healthy. She's fine. And then uh, they also got... What the fuck? What was it? They did some red one. Uh, she, uh, I, man, I'm trying to remember what she named it. Sun something. You got a second? You got another lizard? You have yeah, a there's on the another stack? one. Because we have it all the same fucking enclosure? Tank. It's or... got a fucking sauna at my house. There's like a bunch of steam You had to there. build like another Tyrannosaurus? No, pilot? we already had this one for the fucking, uh, um, uh, um, the, the Anoles or the Anoles. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The Anoles, basically the, the, the lizard store, um, took those off our hands because they weren't you know it they wasn't panning out or one of them died and then the other one was just by itself probably getting ready to die and they, he, they took that and then they got this other i man i can't remember what it is it's red and it's um crest or crested something 
uh, crested gecko. But it's like got, it, but it's got like a hot tub and a sauna. It's yeah, <laughs> like it's got a whole fucking. I mean, literally, like it, it, you can just, it's just steam inside this tank. And uh, I just looked at it, and I'm like, I don't know what that costs, and I don't want to. So I'm just. You literally have to make a rock and roll video. What the fuck is that, man? Like fucking, just like it, just it's. Yeah, All right, I mean, I'm, yeah, like I'm, the the lizard comes out in a, in a towel. I'm gonna, <laughs> and, uh, I'm, I'm riddling you this thing, Cap. Uh, how often uh, have you guys pet the lizards? We we don't. That's I mean, look, that's just don't. it. Okay, like every now and then they'll get the, they'll get uh, Rexy out of her cage or whatever. But it's most of the part, for the most part, it's just like yeah, you toss her some bugs, you shut the thing. I mean, that whole tank smells like a fucking. I mean. It smells like a fucking litter box, mm-hmm. except it, it, it's box worse. You can't clean. And, and yeah. uh, but no, it's comforting because you know whoever made the little the tank that from the the lizard place, they're like, no, there's all these little microscopic bugs in there who eat the shit. I'm like, oh, I'm so thank you. I'm so much more comforted by that. It's so much better than the scoop for the litter box. It's fucking. So I've I got bugs. Smell, I've got shit eating bugs I that I can't see. Smell decomposing shit in there. all the time. It's like really, it's it's. This is what you guys want as a pet, and it's, I, you know, I mean... Can I up your bugs? Can you get more shit bugs? I did, man. I did. It's one of those things, like, I I just, uh, you know, I mean, it's right, it's right next to the kitchen, too, so it's like, I mean, if you're cooking or you're... You just get a waft of lizard. You just look over, and she's just, she's on her log just going... I'm like, what? So, it's, it, it just, I can imagine, look, if you open a cafe... With all these things around, I get, look. There are people. I'm sure there, especially kids, they're gonna be curious about it. I'm sure it's, I'm sure it's cool. I guess. I mean, this isn't a new thing. I don't mm-hmm. think that any other mm-hmm. people are. You know, some people like reptiles. I, I don't. I, I just don't understand. I, I like. I, I never understood the whole like. It's kind of like with the ice cream thing. It's like look, when they when they made vanilla chocolate and maybe strawberry. They kind of had it figured out. And then everything was kind of downhill after that. Yeah. And it's the same thing with dogs and cats. We had it figured out, okay? Horses, people could use them to, you know, to get places. But it's like, beyond that, it's like, it, it's pretty much, now you're just getting complicated. Now you're just, like, it's like, I, I anybody who wants a fucking, like, boa constrictor or something as a pet... I like. I think that what you need out of your pet is much different than what I need. But I, you don't. I don't want to eat around that lizard stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like no. I don't want to eat around lizard tanks and all that stuff. I mean, even the cat cafe gets me a little bit. You know, we have a cat cafe here in Vegas. We do. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, there's, my, there's my, one. I'll take my daughter. To yeah, that. but, it's, but that. that's me. But cats. And and I'll admit, I I might like that. I yet like look. But, I love our cats. I, like I, said, our cats are pretty. They're pretty cool. I, that you know, works. I, yeah. It works because cats go poop in a corner. That's why are there no dog cafes? Because a dog will pee anywhere. So. I tell you what, dude. What, see, because we, we have we have entirely too many cats now. <laughs> we have uh, uh, we have six. <laughs> According we, to the state of the matter, no, he does yeah, not. Okay. Okay. According, According to the state of the matter, with, with, with the, 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 what, the the sixth one we got because we went there to get one kitten. Because, you know, my wife was basically bribing her way to get a trip to Ireland with my daughter. And I was like, so we went to get the one kitten and then this other cat, she was there and she was old. She wasn't a kitten and she was like seven months old. And she was the sweetest cat in the world. She was so nice. And I was like, I can't, I can't leave you here. Mm -hmm. Even though, like, I don't think they think of it that way. It's like, look, this is better than the highway you know so i'm fine here you're not you're not stranding me i'm okay but i thought i just was like she's such a sweet cat why would somebody because they said like somebody dropped her off there like i i don't know why i don't know if they had an allergy whatever like you know maybe, maybe they just were, you know maybe they just they just came in and go hey hi i'm a jerk here <laughs> so it's uh, i don't know but it she's such a sweet as so we ended up bringing her home and I know because her name's uh, Goody, and Goody, you you could not have Goody at any sort of cat cafe because Goody, Goody doesn't take a hint when you like when you say like no this this is my food like she uh-huh. just she like you could you could push her away you could jab her with something she was like oh I'm sorry I just need to get around that I see you get around your I'm gonna dive right into your <laughs> bowl of chicken or whatever like it's just like 
I'm eating whatever you're eating, and I don't give a fuck what you have to say about it. So, uh, yeah, I don't. Know th- I, I can only imagine her, her and uh, little buddy. Little buddy would be a fucking nightmare at a cat cafe too. Cause yeah, you you you'd have some you'd have some some litter box feet in your rice. <laughs> you, just, you just have you just have you buddy's ass right there in your fucking rice. Like what? What? What's what's happening? What? I thought we were eating. But they, <laughs> and in Japan, once again, go to the go to the Asian countries for a lot of the stuff. They have a bunch of different animal cafes. Yeah, they have. Uh, I think there was like a bug cafe. There's one that does birds. Where it's Why would all you birds. want a bug cafe? Well, because some people play with the tarantulas and all that kind of oh, shit. You know, fuck like that. it's like I don't want to have a coffee and a tarantula. You know. <laughs> But it's like all kind of stuff. I still don't know how I the think fuck they have an owl I, cafe even. We still, to this day, don't know how the fuck we ended up with a tarantula in our fucking living room back in in, uh, in Calabasas. It was... Uh, hey, I, that wasn't here? No, nah, man. I thought that was here. Wasn't here, it? I could see that. But Calabasas? Man, that night... We... we see, because it, it was like that night... My daughter was... We, I don't even... That had to She was pet. only two at the time. And the only thing that was weird, the, the only weird thing that night was, okay, it was a, I remember it was a Monday night. The reason why I remember that is because Monday nights, they would have this kids club thing down at, like, there was like a, a Ralph's grocery store uh-huh. right down the street from us. And, you know, and my, and, and we would walk to it, or my wife and daughter would walk to it if I didn't go, but like, we, you know, it was, it was, it was only, it was less than a mile from our house. And we, uh, we would walk down to, you know, wherever it was each time they had it, and, that particular Monday, they had, like, it was one of those where, like, they brought things like that, like snakes, tarantulas, things like that, for the kids to touch and things like that, which is, I you know, I didn't go to that that night, because I couldn't, there was no way I'd ever let my daughter touch a fucking snake or tarantula, and I, I but that was the only thing, it was like, okay, they went and saw that that night, less than a mile away, like, did one fall off a truck? Did like I don't know like I don't know but come home with we them? even went back through the fucking like because we had like a, 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 a you know like a like a security camera like a yeah nest camera you know and we went back through to like see when how the fuck did that end up because like we didn't have a dog door we sort of had a hole in the screen that we cut but still it's like you would have noticed that shit going across the fucking living room because it ended up it was like under the couch and then it came out under the couch like in the midst of all like Madden's toys. And it was like, uh, you know, we were just starting to, like, eat and watch a movie or whatever. And just this thing fucking emerged. And I, Jamie yells for me. I come downstairs and I'm like, I mean, I didn't have time to think. I was like, this motherfucker's got to go. Yeah. And, I mean, I yeah, we had video. I remember J- Jamie got the video of that. Me just. <laughs> There's video of this? Fucking stomped the shit out of him. Yeah. Yeah, Why I, I, is that not on boom, your YouTube channel? Boom. And, uh, <laughs> and, 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 and Jamie, Jamie said, I just read it, like, it's just funny. I, every time I watch, I've watched the video, it's, I, me, <laughs> me and Jamie have to clown. She just sounds like such a white lady. After I fucking start, she goes, that's, that's a tarantula. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a tarantula. And I'm like, yeah, I know. I, I, of course, yes, it is. It's a dead fucking tarantula. Mm-hmm. But I was like, I mean, that thing was... Because I remember, like, I I stomped him out, and then, like, I I put him in, like, a jar or something. You know, because it was like... They just, one, you just, How do you, you don't pick you don't up just flush Kleenex? that fucker and yeah. go, oh, yeah, well, yeah, all right, move on. Like, this is a... I mean, because it's almost like... I, that's why, like, you question, like, that's why I say when I do the bit in, in my set that I've written about it, it's like... Like, you just... You look at it, and it's like, I, is that... Like, is it something you can stomp on? Like, or is it something, like, is it going to be like a, is it, it a mouse? It is not basically. an exaggeration that that is like a Halloween decoration. Right. That is not it's an exaggeration. It's fucking huge, man. And I, I mean, but I, I mean, it was, Especially I looked them up squished. since. I mean, they're not poisonous. <laughs> I mean, you obviously don't want to get bit by one because I guess it hurts. Yeah, one their hairs like, are like annoying or right, whatever. Right. So. And, uh, but I, I like, I mean, I, I, I stepped on them. I, I put them in a jar. I remember it. And it just sat on my bathroom counter for a while in that jar and it shriveled over time and I remember when I opened that jar <whistles> stunk like a motherfucker huh? like I had a, eh. and I you know I still to this day don't like we're like how the fuck did we get it I mean there were a few times in that <laughs> house like, in the jar to like show the other spiders like this can happen to you <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it out look what like I that. did to the big yeah, yeah. one huh? <laughs> what's good spiders yeah I, I, yeah man I, I really that 
that, that thing that was uh, that was that was this that was spooky. It really yeah. was. It was just really yeah. unsettling to to you know to just that night we just. <laughs> It's like you just uh, what the fuck just happened? No, like, I have seen a, the tarantula a one big time, fucking spider man. one time in the wild, and I was like, nope. <laughs> I was like, nope. Uh, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not saying, like, I, cause like I said, <laughs> what I was saying in my set too is like, I'd be ups- I'd be like nervous if I saw that in the yard. Yeah. Like, oh, uh, like why? why is that I would in the call yard? Like, I'd be worried about the dogs, everything. Yeah. Like, like why the fuck is this just around? And somehow that was in the fucking house under the goddamn couch. And it like came out like we're, what the fuck? And I uh, yeah that uh, creepy. It was it was creepy. it was really fucking. I, I, I don't know that's weird too that they saw them that day and then one appeared at the house right. that and night. And it's like I know it didn't make it down make it there from Ralph. They, they but still it's like what the fuck somebody, did he fall off the truck or something? But I mean how did he up in still, there? how did he end up at our house? On like, a pant leg getting in? I don't even know. I don't know I don't man, know. but I I just uh, it that. Spiders. That shit was fucking yeah. That was well, yeah. No, see, I don't, I don't need a spider cafe. That is for sure. Mm-mm. No, no, no. And so Cap, uh, that brings us to our next topic. Our first callback is our no, 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 no callback story of the week. <laughs> yeah, who needs graphics and music when you have? Brian? I got no, 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 no. That's all, all right, we need, baby. There it That's is. All we yeah. need. There's the theme. All right. So you know, we last week we talked about this kissing thing, right? Cap, it's perpetuated because we didn't look at it. Look at these, Cap. Look at them. Everybody at home, I'm putting it up on the screen for you. Look at this. Look at the apparatus that it is. It's like a giant inhaler almost. And they have ones that are on a stand. They have these flat ones. So you you have to push your mouth into it. They got these ones down here that have a, 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 a mouth thing you put in your mouth so it's supposed to be like a tongue and that shit moves around your mouth and you move it with your tongue. I just, I don't... I, first of all, I don't... Because it, it, it's saying well, that it's it's basically for... You put your phone on it. Look, they put their right, phone on it so it looks so you see right. the I mean, fucking yeah, forehead I mean, and eyes of whoever you're kissing. Right, that's, that's very convenient, Brian. But I, I think that it's like you... You know, they said it's for people who are in... Long distance relationships, you know, like, first of all, I can't imagine anybody who would buy this being in a relationship. Like, I don't think <laughs> that whoever buys this actually, you know, anybody hangs around this yeah. person. But I yeah. mean, let's say, let's say you're, you're in a relationship. Like, I can't imagine. What, is there any, like, is, I would like to know, is there any couple on earth who actually would, think, oh, like, you know what, this isn't a, how do That's you convenient. This? Now, now we can be in. Yeah, we we can do this long distance. Thing. I didn't think this was gonna work, you know. But now, oh God, we <laughs> yeah, we can start talking about having a family now. Cause look, we have this we have this rubber set of lips that looks like it's it's coming out of the crotch of briefs. <laughs> it's fucking. It it's look like weird. doesn't it look like they 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 open briefs and one. put lips through it instead of a wiener? Yeah, it's like yeah. it's fucking terrible. It's, it's terrible. like yeah, just kiss my lip dick and it's fucking awful. Oh. It's but I okay so I, I just I can't imagine anybody who would I, I, you know. There's so I, you, many you, like of no them no now. it's cool it's cool it's cool we can make this long distance thing work. I have these rubber lips. So you need to get some rubber lips, and we'll we'll have rubber lips. So yeah, what that's that's normal. No, it's not. It's never. There's never been a time in human history that that's fucking normal. Like if whoever someone, made those, they said it was some college students yeah, or something. Some Chinese, been, it was a Chinese college like, student. Yeah. Like yeah, it's like it's a group of dudes who fucking like you really who have never seen. A, a naked breast uh-huh. or anything like that and they just I mean like like okay among your group like however many dudes this was how many people like you would think like is, if you even just had two people in your little group there <laughs> like one of you would come to your senses and go this like, is really fucking uh-huh. stupid dude like this, this is I, this is demented and gross and, and not like, go apply for patents for it. Right. <laughs> you know like, saying? oh, really? That one's available, huh? Oh, no shit. Wow, that's that's amazing. But, it, it, yeah, I just, I can't, 
But I thought this was a one-off. It's a whole industry. So there's a lot of brands. There's multiple. So there's, so, I mean, so there's got to be a market for it. We could buy these on Alibaba in in a bulk and sell them ourselves on Amazon if we so chose. Like, I could get a hundred of these shipped tomorrow at like 12 bucks a piece. Well, I, so what, okay, so what does that cost? Like, like, well, like one of them. What, what is it, what uh, is they're forty bucks, forty to sixty if you buy them, depending on what it is. Some of these other ones, like these stand ones, those like little pigs and stuff they have, are yeah. like more expensive. But yeah, it's like a fifty to eighty dollar accessory. So there, there's got to be a market for it. Yeah, apparently so. They what have the <laughs> fuck, man. Like it's just, it's so, it's really unsettling. When you, you can set it, it like so random like, strangers so can kiss so you. There are enough you can people set out it there so an AI can kiss you. I think about that. People marrying their waifus in Japan and then have a word like, oh, she kisses me virtually. Uh, yeah, well, the people that use this stuff deserve to be population controlled. That's all I'm trying to say. Yeah, man, I, I don't know. They, I would rather a girl said she wanted to pee on me than tell me to use this thing. I would rather there be a third option. Actually, you know I, I, I'll be honest with you. If those are my only two but options get, she, in life, you get what I'm I am saying. going to. Yeah, like, I, I would rather. I don't know she, how much I want to wake up tomorrow. Yeah, the weirdest yeah. fucking thing in the world to me over this. If like if you said. If you hand gave this to me as a present, I would block your number. Yeah, I, 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 that's what I'm saying. Like, I, I mean, there is a whole, like, I, okay, because it, it's one of those things, and I hate to, it's like I, you have to assume, it's like okay, it's it, it's in China or Japan well, I mean, or something like that, like some place that you a don't live, that you pictures. just don't understand the norms of the because. I like I just can't imagine I don't know anybody who would think that that was like oh yeah let's do that uh-huh. no that's fine yeah no can't afford the whole doll let's just go with the lips like, I mean <laughs> like, <laughs> like you, you can't just it's like you really you can't just use FaceTime and just but, so it, what's next do we graduate it, it, to the head the torso like what else are we what else are we just making the parts of that you know that you're gonna custom make to look like somebody you're dating. You know, like it's. Uh... I you know I, I, don't, I don't. Hardly have I seen you at a loss for words, <laughs> Cap, and this I, I think has sent you down a spiral. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, you know, like I, I mean, oh the, my god! Imagine, yeah, like you, you, you know, you get, uh, <laughs> you like whoever, like whatever your your. I, no, I'm not even going to... Like, this is just fucking weirdo yeah. shit, man. That's, yeah. that's, I, I don't want to... And and why did I do a callback? Because the story has blossomed like into other spinoffs of this, and that's so, how so I wait, found out so, there were so, so many you, brands. Let's, let's say you break up with the person. Do you do you keep your lips and then do you pass them back? to the next relationship? Are there their like, lips? Like, you go to your next relationship, you you're like, your oh, lips? no, cool, don't worry. I've got a set of lips from my last girlfriend. That I can use as you now. Let me give like, you the it's, code. It's this, to- this is so convenient, and I'm sure, I'm sure, whatever girl, new girlfriend would be like that. Right. And why am I even exploring this option? Because nobody who has these fucking rubber lips next to the phone are going to just be. They're going to be. They're gonna, there isn't going to be a next girlfriend no. or a curve. Like uh-uh. you don't have a girlfriend. You're buying that to stick your dick in it, just like I thought it was last week. Yeah. The only reason there's a market for this is because, uh, yeah, people want some tabletop lips to put their <laughs> like, What the fuck is that? That's fucking, that's just creepy as shit. It's especially like, whoever this one, came up with the, like, I would be embarrassed to go to the patent office. The, and the say, one you put you know, in your a, mouth, though. The one that you put in your mouth where it moves around in your mouth to simulate a tongue, and you move the thing with your mouth to simulate for the other there's person. No, there's no way they're getting that to, to kiss. <laughs> just no way. No way. There's no way. And, I, you know, yeah, I mean, it, it, it'd be... I can't imagine, like, you'd have to, you'd have to, like, store that, too, because you've, you know, because I, I know, you like. You can't have that loose my, around my, the house. I, Yeah, you can't have, because the dogs <laughs> or the cats or somebody like that would be fucking with it all the time, and then, yeah, yeah come home and the dog has it all, has your lips all chewed up on the floor. Uh-huh. It's like, be like, oh, oh. Uh, I was supposed to have a phone call with my sweetheart tonight, now I got, yeah. 
Now, now, now you taste like snot. I just got pieces. And butt. This is fucking all. I, I, we You just this got one half out. of this, it left. Let's, and you're just let's, just, to, let's just get to the last one and fucking to kiss wrap the good it up. Oh this my is, god. This is terrible. Yes, yeah, so you have to cleanse the palate. Let's cleanse it with uh, olive oil and coffee. Huh? Oh, well, if we couldn't find a closer. Yeah, because uh, <laughs> the, old, the old Italians, uh, you know, there's a, they gotta they gotta put some something in something. So they're putting there's a new Starbucks is running a pilot program of putting olive oil and coffee instead of creamer in Italy. I <laughs> first of all, very Italian. All right. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it, it, I don't know. What, I mean, is it? I'm not a coffee drinker, so I don't, I don't, you know, I don't. Me I mean, I, I live on fucking sweet tea. If I get coffee, I, it's I don't, more cream and sugar than coffee. Yeah, I, I mean, you know I load it up with cream and yeah. sugar if yeah. I do get coffee because I have to take take away the coffee taste and make it taste more like sugar. But I, I just, I don't, I can't imagine. I, you it's know, like oh, you like, know what would be, you know, would be good is is some oil. Yeah. It's like, apparently I, like a keto yeah. thing. Like it's like apparently if you do the keto diet, you use olive oil as a substitute and, and stuff like yeah, that. Because yeah, I feel like but that would. I, like, yeah, it just. I mean, because doesn't coffee have a a diarrhea kind of effect? Diar- yes. Diarrhea yes. effect yes. to it. So like, if, you, you know, if you didn't think you went fast enough, right? Yeah, let's, like, let's grease think, it up yeah, a little bit. Yeah, let me let me lube this a little bit more. So yeah, just in case I, you know, I don't. I want to. I want to make it so I have to get to a toilet faster. Like I yeah I can't I I just I don't imagine that being I don't I don't that wouldn't add anything to the taste. They're they're hoping that the campaign relaunches a love of olive oil among the young people, and I'm like oh so this is yeah a, that'll this is just big olive oil trend spark to... a nationwide craze, <laughs> won't it? Like, oh yeah oh <laughs> they're like fuck we don't we can't do corn some... syrup because that's been done. Let's what do we got some... around here? Come on man, <laughs> yeah, we were gonna, we were gonna go get some pot and fucking hang out. No, no bro. let's get some Wesson. We're gonna mainline some <laughs> olive oil tonight, boys. It's like nobody fucking like I, I just don't, rubbing I don't, it on your teeth and shit. Yeah, right. It's just, it's it's just it's like it, I don't. I mean, I, yeah. It's the only thing I can imagine with that is just it's it's just it's a fucking laxative. That's yeah. all it is. Yeah. It's like you you just I, I mean you just you're just. You're just you're drinking you're, you're oil. Just, you're just really awake while you're shitting a lot. So. Yeah. It just, it, it, it just, I, I don't. Yeah, I don't drink. Uh, I'm not a. I'm not a coffee no, drinker. I've and, never been a coffee and drinker. It's, and, and I guess the only times like I'll occasionally have a coffee. Usually a McDonald's. You know, if I'm like really like if I, I need to get through the day or something. But it's like give me that large coffee. Six it just cream, seems six like a. I mean, I'm enough of a fat ass myself as it is. Like I drink enough. I I live on enough sugar and fucking fat mm-hmm, and everything mm-hmm. else to just I I can't afford to to to, put to drink caffeine fucking on top of that cooking oil. <laughs> yes, Basically, no, I, yes. I can't afford to drink <laughs> fucking Crisco. Like what the fuck? <laughs> like really? Like of all like the, the least the only thing I have in my diet oh my that th- isn't fattening is is what I drink and yeah. now I'm gonna be like. No, add some fucking lard to that. Like, really? I'm going to oil that up. Why are you like, even yeah. around? Just so, put yeah. butter in there. Butter, hey, hey, right. butter is not a beverage, well, they even sir. Said that, the butter in the coffee. That's a Simpsons joke. Uh-huh. Fuck. Uh-huh. I'm not the one who puts butter in your coffee. Like, that's fucking... That's, it's, and it's, it's a joke, but it's not. Because uh-huh. obviously, they yeah. actually do that Out shit. Out in the streets. Yeah. And I mean, look, nobody likes butter more than I do. But I mean, I yeah, I, I can't imagine buttering up my drink. I, I yeah. I mean Skittles, yeah, but not, 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 <laughs> I only not put candy in my, my shit. Okay? Yeah, man. Although I will melt a lot of stuff in a hot chocolate, I will put a lot of a different sort of chocolate candies and marshmallows and stuff in a hot chocolate. I will do that. that see, man, I, yeah, I mean, it's, it's like you know, uh, do you want do you want oil in your coffee now? Ranch. Can I have some ranch in my fucking in my mocha? Oh, it, my yeah, it, like really? It, it's, oh my uh, god, Cap! I feel like within five years we're gonna see a ranch latte. I really feel like it. I feel like it's a natural progression, <laughs> or or at least like a like a what is it, like a jalapeno two ranch. Creams, or, two creams, two sugars, yes. and a ketchup. My jalapeno Can coffee? I have some ketchup? Or like a pickle? Give me a, my pickle right. coffee. Just fuck it. 
just turned coffee into a burger. Uh-huh. <laughs> what the fuck is that, man? That's that's gross. Oh, I'm mark saying, it down now, folks. I, I don't. I think that. Uh, I don't think that's gonna be a McRib for you, right there, at Starbucks. I think that's when gonna, the when the ranch that's, coffee comes, though. Remember, you heard it here first that's, that's, at that's, the that's, Blatheria. That's more of a McPizza. <laughs> that shit's going out quick. Yeah. Oh, that okay. sucks. Let's uh, let's land this plane, man. Uh, we, we got we got a lot of shows upcoming next week. Where where can the people find you? What are we what are we uh, got coming up this uh, week? I, I I'm starting the um the my show at the Jimmy Kimmel Club, uh, uh-huh. and and Brian Shenanigan will be there. Brian Shenanigan will be there with me. Sorry, I got stuck on your name. It's too many syllables. I know. I, too many uh, ananananas. But, but uh, <laughs> yeah, March fourteenth starts the uh, the my Tuesday night uh, nine thirty show at uh jimmy kimmel club so if you're in las vegas on a tuesday come check us out and uh that's uh yeah, and, uh, I'll also, back to connecticut at some point but yeah that's about it yeah so now we oh my god tickets so but not only i believe not only are you you're not just your tuesday and thursday at the kimmels this week oh that's right okay yeah, yeah, yeah that, you're that, doubling that's next week. Yeah, that's you're right. starting off thursday. the residency with the you're on the every other steve Byrne kick still on that yeah, thursday yeah, yeah, so yeah. You, got, you got that and then no, nothing this week. You're you're actually home this weekend. Yeah. It's, wow. It's, yeah. Don't. I'm not arguing about no, that. No. Not shit. after the fucking last week, bro. It's yeah, gonna take right, you a week yeah, just because, to recover yeah, from that shit. Because apparently, yeah, you you can't can't call off if you work on a mm-hmm, plane. Mm-hmm. They, they don't know how to handle that. So. <laughs> but yeah. So then, rest of the month at Kimmel's, and then at the end of the month, you're in Bridgeport, Connecticut. That's back right, again. That's right. So yeah. That's a stress factory. Yeah. Which hopefully that trip will not be as much of a stress. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like the airport, yeah. Fuck. Mm-hmm, but mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm. so yeah, I'll be around. I'll be around doing some comedy. So, and yeah. as always, go to johncaprilu.com for all your things, Cap. Uh, go to his YouTube channel, follow it. Lots of great content on there. You can see me at brianshenanigan.com. Uh, you can check the links below. I'm sure we have it. Like, subscribe, tell your friends. We're trying to spread this podcast. Tell the people. Tell them to come here get some of this blatheria and hey and and if you know what if you're finding life's not good enough add some oil or some crickets <laughs> and uh, i think you'll oil you'll crickets put a smile on your face because why wouldn't you that stuff's fucking gross <laughs> <laughs> it's like can I, yeah i got i got cricket ice cream could you could you put a dash of oil in there too could you ruin this oh, some more, please? Oh. Thank you. Yeah, I want to. I want to fuck crickets? up my dessert with fucking three days of diarrhea. <laughs> I want to. I want to have fucking cricket diarrhea. Oh. Crickeria is <laughs> what we're getting at. Is uh, what a way to close. If we, if we, if we, if I, I think we should just close out as I'm talking. So, <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'll have some crickeria while there's a bunch of lizards walking around, and I can kiss some rubber lips. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm Brian Shenanigan. This is John Caparulo. Peace. And we're out. <laughs>